Now, in, in the recent uh, pre-junior cert exams, I know a lot of students had problems with the rate of flow question on the paper. So here's an example of a rate of flow question, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can solve it, solve it relatively easily uh, by breaking it down into two, two problems. So just to give you an idea of the question, it says, uh, the question states that water flows through a pipe um, at a rate of 5 centimeters per second, and <clears throat> the diameter of the pipe is 4 centimeters. It fills the bowl in 18 seconds. Find the radius of the bowl. So the, the end goal is to find the radius of the bowl. So as I said, the way to do this is to separate it into two problems. The first problem is finding out what the volume of water is that flows through the pipe. Now I think in the pre exam it was actually a hose that was in question, but it's the same thing because a hose has the same shape as a pipe. It's a cylinder shape. So the way we uh, approach that problem is we treat uh, it as a cylinder and we use the volume formula for a cylinder. Uh, but that's, as I said, that's the first part of the problem. We solve that first and then afterwards we can find out what the radius is. And I'll, I'll talk about, a bit more about that later, but let's just concentrate now on getting the volume of the water flowing through the pipe. So we know that in one second, five centimeters of water flows through the pipe. Now that's just the length of the section of water that flows through the pipe. In order to get the volume, we need to use the volume formula because this section here is in the shape of a cylinder. So we can say that the volume is equal to pi r squared h, r is equal to 2 because it's half of 4, the diameter is 4, so the radius has to be 2. And the height is the 5 centimeters here. Now, because this is lying horizontally, this is actually the height of the cylinder. So... That gives you pi times 2 squared times 5, which ends up giving you 20 pi cm cubed per second, because that's the volume of water that goes through every second. Okay, so that's just one second, but we're told that the water flows for 18 seconds in order to fill the bowl. So the water that ends up being in the bowl will be 18 times 20 pi. So 18 times 20 pi gives us 360 pi cm cubed. So that's the volume of water that ends up being in the bowl. And this is the total volume that ends up being in the bowl. So we can say the total volume of water that flows through the pipe is 360 pi. And now we can start thinking about getting the radius of the bowl. Because the bowl is in the shape of a hemisphere, in other words half of a sphere. So we could say that the volume here, 360 pi, must be equal to the volume formula for a hemisphere. So you need to look up the volume formula for a sphere and divide it by 2. Now the volume formula for a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed, so half of 4 thirds is 2 thirds. So the volume for a hemisphere is just going to be 2 thirds pi r cubed. But as we just said, that has to be equal to the, vol the actual volume of the water in the bowl, which is 360 pi. So we can make an equation out of that. We can say 2 thirds pi r cubed equals 360 pi. And remember, you're trying to find the value of the radius. And usually when you're trying to find the value of something, you let it equal to a letter, like for, for instance r. And when you're looking for the value of a letter, you always end up solve in an equation. So you just have to come up with a, an equation that includes R in it and that's exactly what we have here. This must be equal to this. It has an R in it so we can solve this equation. Straight away we can cancel out the pi's because they're the same value on both sides of an equation. You can cancel them out. Next thing we need to do is get the R cubed on its own. So we want to get rid of these two guys one by one. So first of all I'm going to take the tree which is dividing into two and I'm going to bring it across the equal to sign and multiply it by 360. Because we always do the opposite when we bring something across the equal to sign. So the opposite of divide is multiply. So we end up with 2r cubed equals 3 times 360. Now 3 times 360 gives us 1080. And the 2 next to the r cubed we can bring across the equal to sign as well. And we again we do the opposite. So here it was multiplying by r cubed. So here it's going to divide into 1080. 
So this gives us 540. So r cubed is 540. Uh, to get what r is, we need to get the cubed root of 540. So r is equal to 23.24. That's the radius. So just to recap what we did here was we first of all found, found the volume of water that goes through in one second, then the volume of water that goes through in 18 seconds, which was 360 pi. That must be equal to the volume of the water in the bowl, which is full. In other words, the volume 360 pi must be equal to the volume formula for a hemisphere, which is 2 thirds pi r cubed. We then solved this equation until we got the value of the radius. And don't forget to put in the centimeter as well. I forgot to put that in. So you get marks for putting this in. So always put in a unit, unit of measurement.